If you want to learn to crush, you got to learn to brace. Let's get into it. Spin it. Hey DMD family, welcome back to another Discs MD video. Bearded Bunky here. Tell me whether you like the beard or not. I, I try from time to time and it never really sticks for a long time, but comment below if you like the beard or not. Um, I'm just doing my best to be exactly like Robbie C. Uh, I need to shave my head next. Anyway, just a little clean up from last time I did one of these videos. I was talking about the uh, Discord server that I'm on with a bunch of the, the, the YouTube coaches. I forgot to mention my buddy Owen at Trebuchet Disc Golf, so sorry, Owen. Um, Owen does a lot of good stuff, puts out a lot of good content. If you're not subscribed to him or don't know who he is, I don't know what rock you've been under, but I will link it down below. Make sure you go over, support him and his channel and everything he's doing over there. Blitz, um, Disc Golf, uh, Nick Crush, uh, Disc Golf and Fitness, uh, Seabass, Bedanza, um, Overthrow. Make sure you're subscribing to like the community of of disc golf coaching and the community of the, the, the pool of knowledge that we have right now uh, is overwhelming and exciting. Like I am very humbled and honored to be able to be in that discord and just take in all of the expertise and, and, and knowledge that's being just thrown down there. It's, it's overwhelming and exciting. That's, this is the best way to describe it. So, uh, support all those guys, please. Uh, they, they help me a ton. Uh, of course, Josh is, you know, superior coach and I, I just love everything that he's been doing with my game, but then also getting to interact with these other coaches and, and they all, they all agree on the, on, on the big tent pole things, right? They made difference in nuance, but it's nice to see how all the ideas are starting to gel. And I know Clint said it in his last video that we really don't have science yet. Uh, I'm hoping with this wave that we're going to start getting there because we got a lot of smart people coming in, a lot smarter than I am that are that are just really nitpicking and, and, and analyzing form uh, and doing a great job at it. So let's get to what we're doing today. That was a lot of rambling for no reason. Sorry. Evolution two of Nick Crush's bracing um, progression. If you haven't seen that yet, I, I linked it in my last video when I did evolution one, uh, I'll link it again. This is evolution two. Uh, so these are meant to be done in sequence. So you do Evo one for a little bit, then you move on to Evo two, and then you move on to Evo three, which is your full walk, right? Walk up. It's standstill to one step to full walk up. That's his progression cycle. So today I'm going to go over just his Evo two and his one step and you're just gonna get to see me trying out what he does and walking you through my mental cues of how to implement it into my throw. Let's get it. Okay, to start, I'm just gonna go through evolution one just to get myself grounded. I've been doing this for a couple weeks now, not every day, but as much as I can. I have a lot of other stuff going on. And then with the towel with Evo one. Remember you want the sound of the towel after. Oh, well, I gotta go get that. I guess that's a good sign, right? And then with the disc. So now for Evo 2, uh, again, it's nothing in your hand first, and really it's just a one step. He does a, like a, a baseball, okay, hop. <laughs> yeah, and what, what I really focus on here is feeling the pressure right here in the hip as you sink into 
that sink into that brace, right? Really feel the grounding uh, force of the ground, <laughs> grounding force of the ground, uh, come up through your leg and in, into that hip. And the first thing is just to, right, stop, stop that momentum. But then once you get that, once I got that feel, right, that just stopping force momentum, then letting the, letting the hip clear and this back hip come in and around, right? For this back hip to come in and around, this, this hip has to get out of the way, right? So to really just let that ground force drive this hip back and allow this, this hip to come uh, up and around, right? So it looks like this, right? And then you start leaving the hand back. The hand timing is the hardest for me, was the hardest for me. So if you can't get that, just really do this a bunch of times and just get the feel for it. And then, and then you'll start, you'll start being able to leave the hand back and bring the hand through. Upper body's quiet again. And if you really can't feel, like over bracing is a thing. Clint talked about it. I think Mikey talks about it from overthrow and just really pushing off the ground backwards. <laughs> right? So that really allows me to feel the ground by me pushing. So over bracing is a good way to, to um, get into feeling the brace. Uh, so that's an approach that you can use as well. But that's what this iteration is about is really about feeling the ground driving up into the hip, stopping that momentum and causing that pelvic rotation. Okay. So that's step number one of evolution two. All right. So step number two, of course, is the towel. And we really need to me, this is all about the audible cue as well as the feeling cue. So when I hit, and then the towel comes through, right? And then hearing that snap of the towel after I've planted and settled into the ground. Now, I don't do these near as powerful as Nick because I haven't been doing them as long as him. So I am still learning this. So I'm probably at about 40%, right? I don't really get into it. <laughs> the bracing part of it is stopping the whole lower half. Like I went over this with Josh in my, one of my lessons with him and is really not allowing this leg to just slam into your front, but it's really having stopping power all around and letting this hip drive around, right? Instead of letting the leg collapse. Sweating into my glasses. This isn't gonna be long. Evo 3 is the disc. And again, you don't care how far the disc goes or the disc path. It's really just getting the feeling of holding the disc and the weight of the disc, you know, and releasing the disc with the brace. I don't care about my arm path here. Upper body mechanics aren't a big deal. Just wanna keep it loose and let the brace propel the disc forward. That's what this is about. Allowing the brace to get me to propel the disc forward. Wow. Okay. That was bad. And that went a pretty long way. <laughs> that was terrible, but that went a long way. Yeah. Okay. Like, and again, if you ever feel that you're not getting the timing again, go back to Evo 1 and get the timing. Because it is so much different with a disc in your hand. Wow. Okay. That felt great. So, this is it. Yeah, those two felt really good. And to me, 
really feel you have to push down against the ground to bring that disc through is just the focal point of this drill. Again, I'm only two weeks in, so I still got a lot of work to do. I want to ramp up the intensity, but I didn't want to start too powerful or too much. So I wanted to keep it low. So again, I'm about 50%, 40 or 50% doing this. And I really just wanted to give you my honest take on someone who just started this using this process. And this feeds into everything that Josh has been coaching me for the past year. Um, please don't take it take this that I'm dissatisfied with Josh or leaving Josh. I would never do that. Josh is my coach and I'm I don't ever see me changing coaches because Josh and I work well together and he he he's done incredible things for me. This is just me using other coaches ideas to implement the truths that Josh is coaching me to do. So just wanted to give you a representation of how I'm putting Nick's bracing um, progression into, uh, into action and sort of the cues that I'm using to help me get better at using it. So uh, making sure that we're really just getting up into the brace, feeling that pressure in the hip, making sure we're pushing against the ground to accelerate the disc through uh, and, and this this Evo 2 really starts to cement things in your mind with how to use that momentum to transfer it into the disc. So there you have it. I uh, hope this helped. Um, and if you start this progression, um, let me know if any of the triggers that I have uh, shared with you work for you. And let me know what you're using, what triggers work for you, and, and how it's helping you in your game. Thanks as always for your support, tuning in and watching. Until next time, enjoy the journey. Here's your verse of the day.